Hello friends, I'm welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Suprajit Engineering. Has the bottom being made and will the stock continue to search or one should avoid it? So let's get started. First of all, a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Suprajit Engineering, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. And also if you can pay $100 upfront, then you can get one year access by paying less than uh, the stipulated amount and you get 15 percent discount for detailed market or company talk you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee and also if you cannot pay through card you can take the youtube membership which begins from next month from 2nd of october onwards now about the company established in 1985 suprajit engineering is into the auto components manufacturing and boast of marquee clients in this domain they primarily makes uh, auto lighting and motion control equipments uh, speedometers etc uh, have global presence uh, with the clients across europe and clients include maruti honda bajaj etc and they are also making uh, parts of gears as well and, and gear shafts and so on and so forth if you look at the numbers, these are June quarter numbers and these are June 2022 numbers. You can say June 2021 numbers versus last year. And uh, the market cap of the company is around 4500 crores right now. The sales were 362 crores versus 177. So that's a growth of 102%. Profit of 43 crores versus a loss of 15 crores. So you can say that the turnaround did take place there is reasonable debt and that is a worry uh, for the company but margins are improving and the stock has also done reasonably well over the last two three years uh, it trades currently at 23 to 25 times earnings which is reasonably placed and once the cycle turns around the company is set to do uh, well there is decent combined uh, promoter and institutional holding in the company if you look at the performance, stock has fallen sharply since the Jan 2018 as I mentioned but had fallen around 45% in the Feb-March fall but has recovered very well over the last 12-15 months. In fact, it has more than doubled in that period, is up 120-130% but on a 5-year basis it has done nothing. So if you look at the uh, performance of the stock from 2017 onwards, it has done virtually nothing, just a little bit up. But results are picking up and, and stock is also rising. Your return ratios are low but it is expected that going forward return ratios should improve. So why there was a slowdown in the auto industry so far and what is turning around? So it was under stress from 2017, fag end of 2017 and it continued till uh, probably the end of FY20 when the pandemic hit because the manufacturing sector got uh, hurt badly and, and we saw how most of the manufacturing uh, uh, things such as you can say lighting, electronics etc along with automobile uh, got stuck. A uh, shutdown just accelerated the decline in the manufacturing sector and automobiles were in the, was in the forefront and commercial vehicle segment uh, to which it caters to so Ashok Leyland etc are uh, their major brands as well so commercial vehicles segment was the most hit and we saw then Suprajit's number fall big time and we saw the company go into complete losses for 4-5 quarters uh, and there was projection of further stress in the next two years which is now turning around so this was the projection in 2020-21 now it has been 12-15 months and now we are looking at a six month period in which the turnaround could take place so the slowdown took place because of these reasons but as we we are seeing turning turnaround on the ground and we are seeing turnaround in the markets uh, then there is a, a lot of buying happening in this space if you look at the technicals uh, of the stock then there's major long-term support around 250 260 region between 245 to 260 
थ्री सिक्सटी इज़ अ रेजिस्टेंस जोन करेंटली द स्टॉक इज़ अराउंड थ्री थर्टी थ्री फोर्टी जस्ट अबव द टू हंड्रेड डी एम ए इट लुक्स एक्सट्रीमली स्ट्रॉग ऑन चार्ट एट द मोमेंट एंड अबव फोर हंड्रेड देर इज अ स्ट्रॉग अप मूव दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड एनी डिक्लाइंस टूवर्ड्स थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड वुड बी अ ग्रेट बाइंग ऑपरचुनिटी इवन एट करेंट लेवल्स वन कैन अक्यूमुलेट द स्टॉक आई थिंक देर इज़ फर्दर अप मूव लेफ्ट एंड आई बिलीव दैट Uh, from now till march we could see an up move in the auto auto ancillary space so my call on the stock is that hold if you have it uh, if you don't have it buy on declines to 323 310 those will be very good levels i think cycle will turn around completely in a year's time i think 6 to 8 months more and you'll see with the vaccination and kind of things that is going on i think by next diwali we'll see these stocks much higher and the cycle completely turning around and people talking about auto ancillary uh you buy the top players in this space it's a 3 year play and no immediate reward so have a 3 to 4 year time frame and you'll get rewarded in this space so this is my video on suprajit engineering please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you get my video straight away when i post it and can you support me on patreon and also become a member on youtube from next month thanks a lot for watching